Tata Harrier has got a major midlife update. It has got a fresh new look and a number of new features. So let's compare it with its direct rival MG Hector, who has been holding the most feature loaded tag in the segment since 2019. Let's start from dimensions. Tata Harrier is 4668mm long, 1922mm wide and 1795mm tall. Whereas MG Hector is 4699mm long, 1835mm wide and 1760mm tall. Yes, MG Hector is slightly longer, but practically the difference is barely visible. But when it comes to boot space, Hector has taken advantage of its length. Anyways, Tata Harrier has got 205mm ground clearance and offers 17, 18 and 19 inch alloy size options, whereas MG Hector has got 192mm ground clearance and offers 17 and 18 inch alloy wheel options. Now talking about design, Tata Harrier has got muscular, bulky and sporty stance whereas MG Hector looks like a smart and premium SUV. Just like exterior, interior of Tata Harrier is also sporty. It has bright persona themed inserts and the dashboard layout is multi-layer. The four-spoke steering also can't be ignored. In the other hand, MG Hector comes with black beige dual tone interior theme. The dashboard layout is neat and sophisticated, thanks to its 14-inch touchscreen. Actually, design is a subjective topic. It varies person to person. Here, both SUVs offer fantastic road presence and premium interior. So, comment down which one do you like in the comment section. MG Hector is always known for its features. But this time, Tata Harrier has set a new boundary. Both SUVs come with panoramic sunroof, cruise control, 360-degree parking camera, power tailgate, connected car tag, EDAS, and a lot of new modern age features. But still, MG Hector comes with a bigger touchscreen, automatic lane change indicator, lane keep assist, and multicolor ambient lights that Tata Harrier missed out. Meanwhile, Tata Harrier comes with features like customizable digital driver's display, welcome and memory function seats, dual zone climate control, wing comfort headrest, 10-speaker JBL music system with audio modes, rear window sunsets, pedal shifters and 45 watt fast charger that MG Hector missed out. So we can clearly say that Tata Harrier is feature rich. Talking about safety, Global NCAP is yet to test MG Hector. But in real life, Hector has performed good. And as we all know, Harrier is 5 star rated. None of the SUVs has compromised in safety. Now the most important part, engine. Tata Harrier is powered by 2 liter diesel engine that makes maximum 170 PS power and 350 Nm of torque. This engine is available with both manual and automatic transmission. But there is no petrol engine with Harrier. In the other hand, MG Hector comes with the same 2 liter diesel engine, whose power and torque output is exactly same as Tata Harrier. But there is no automatic option with diesel engine. But there is a 1.5 liter turbocharged petrol engine is also offered with MG Hector, which is available in both manual and automatic transmission. Alright, let's conclude. Both SUVs have their unique strength. So if you want a fully loaded diesel automatic SUV, then you should go for Tata Harrier. And if you need a petrol SUV, then you should go for MG Hector, where you can get a price advantage too. So that's all for this video, hope this was helpful for you, thanks for watching. Subscribe this channel and like this video for such more interesting and informative video.